Earlier on this week, I'm sure you remember, we launched our search for an inspirational woman of the year. This morning, we can announce that Catherine Jenkins is going to be joining our judging panel. And she joins us now from New York. Catherine, it's lovely to have you on board. Thank you so much for joining us in this. No, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be involved in such a lovely thing. It's a great idea and I know that you, you know, there's been many inspirational women in your life, but particularly your friend Polly, who was a remarkable woman. Tell me about her. Uh, well, Polly was one of my best friends and um, sadly she had a, a very long battle with cancer um, that she lost in 2014. But throughout her battle she inspired so many people, she touched so many lives and changed their lives forever and, you know, mine included. That's amazing to have that and, and you were saying that she actually helped you even though she was going through something so tough. How, how was she able to remain so incredibly positive? It's amazing how she went through this, you know, huge thing that was, you know, such a, a trauma to her. Um, in 2005, she was first diagnosed with cervical cancer. Um, she, you know, she got better. She had a period of time where she was cancer free. But then we discovered that actually it had come back and she had um, a tumour in her lymph. Um, and at that point, I remember her calling me to tell me the cancer had come back, but that she, um, she was going to take her own path. She was going to create her own lifestyle change to try and, and beat cancer. Um, she even wrote a book to help other people going through cancer, um, which, having lost my own father from cancer when I was younger, I wish I'd had a book like that to yeah. turn to at that time. So she was always thinking about other people and, and you know, turning the experience into a positive one. That's remarkable. It really is remarkable. And that does touch lives. And, and as you said, I mean, it happened to your dad. Cancer touches all of us, really, doesn't it? It, it really does. And, you know, in, in her book, it was, you know, what to say to somebody who's just found out that they've, you know, that they've got cancer, how to, you know, what to take with you to the hospital, all these very simple, practical things which were, you know, sort of at that time, I thought, what a what an amazing idea to sort of, you know, try and channel your energy into something like this. And of course, you've got a little one of your own now uh, as well. And just so sad yeah. that, you know, she she's not going to grow up with Polly in her life. That's when that's when it's that's when it really hits you, doesn't it? It really does. Um, you know, I, I, I try and talk to my daughter, Aaliyah, who's nearly two, about Polly and, you know, I will show her photos. Um, sadly, Polly passed away a few months before I got married. Um, and it was really the wedding day that was a bit of the sort of the moment of the shock that you realise that this is really when I, I need my friend with me. But I had, I had her name um, uh, embroidered in the bottom of my dress so that when I walked down oh. the aisle, she walked down with me. Oh, that's lovely. That is such a gorgeous thing to do. Definitely a, a woman, a woman of the year. And I know that you're going to be one of it on our yeah. judging panel. Um, and we're going to hopefully get, we always do, get these incredible stories, Catherine. And I know you're looking forward to that. And thank you for joining us from New York this morning to talk about. Oh, my pleasure. Woman. Looking forward to it. Thank you, love. I'll see you very, thank very you. soon. Thank you. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank so you. Much.